In this lecture, we are going to show you a demo program, DNA encoding gene.java. This is the part one. We also have another lecture on the part two for the real coding, uh, showing of the Java code. And this part one, we only focus on the background information. First, why are we doing this uh, demo program? Uh, we want to get exposure to good application field for computer science. And the DNA study and the DNA uh, reading is uh, one of a very uh, promising research field and actually have been put into the real uh, use for uh, uh, recent years. And uh, also we want to demonstrate the stream manipulation methods beyond the Java API for some application fields. And also would like to know how to call and uh, use a method correctly. And the last uh, a purpose is to use a dual I.O. Uh, using log methods to show you a result to print it to the screen or to uh, a file. First, let's have some background uh, understanding of the DNA. Uh, you can look at uh, this uh, website for the detailed information. All of my um, information I got is mostly from this website. And first, let's look at the chromosome. Uh, a chromosome is uh, one of the uh, building uh, blocks for our DNA, uh, uh, actually our uh, bio information uh, in our uh, cells. And uh, there are some technical uh, detailed medical or biotechnical terms that I, I don't want to go into that details. But for computing purpose, we have base pairs A to G or C to G. Uh, I'm sorry, A to T or C to G, or T to A or G to C, it's a well paired. And uh, A must be paired with T, T must be paired with A, and C must be paired with G, and G must be paired with C. That's the rule. And uh, each of the DNA string will be intertwined with another one to become a pair. They intertwine each other for a long string. And the DNA code is uh, inside the whole DNA code is inside this uh, chromosome. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a well pair. Uh, basically, are just two, uh, four possible uh, code, and uh, each one need to be paired with uh, uh, a right uh, coding. And each of the uh, uh, each of the A T C G uh, uh, Code is actually re represented by a certain uh, molecule, and when when we uh, try to replicate uh, the DNA, you need to first have a reduction. You break the string into a uh, half, and this actually happening when we have the uh, for the bio male or female to generate the egg or the sperm. Actually, it's uh, basically need to cut into half. And then we use the ATTA uh, CGGC uh, uh, binding uh, property. Once you break into one string and use one of the string to attract the other part to build up the, the, the DNA, that's the, that's the whole uh, process of the replication. And then the purpose of starting DNA is that we can uh, have a, a, a few different applications. First, we can model the DNA and do in computer simulation for DNA repair or replication uh, for birth control, for uh, best production of some food. But right now, this food uh, reproduction, uh, production and birth control have been uh, very controversial. And DNA therapy, uh, DNA analysis, or DNA matching for bio uh, matching for verification of the parent-child relationship. And also DNA reading uh, is very important to try to understand what section of a DNA is represent for what the uh, uh, carrying what information inside. That's uh, one of the very important research field. And uh, another field is to do a DNA computing. Uh, this is one of the frontier for computing paradigm. And it's in parallel with uh, photonic computing, neural computing, body logic computing, a lot of new uh, uh, 
computing paradigm under uh, research and DNA computing is one of them and let's look at uh, this uh, DNA computing paradigm uh, in the, in currently we are using IC uh, second IC board and then uh, there's a circuit design a board design for it and then uh, we use an ADDA conversion to convert the analog wall to the digital wall and use computer to do a study that's a current conventional processor and uh, for DNA processor we actually use a reader to read uh, the bio data in or to output and generate some bio uh, DNA output and then uh, in between we use a DNA's uh, permutation and combination purpose and the encoding purpose to actually to study uh, to to try to generate the result because of the our computer is using binary 0110 type and and uh, our uh, DNA actually have four value on each of the molecule and so it's like a four four level uh, encoding for for uh, for a certain uh, molecule so the com computing paradigm is different from the binary and the important part is also how to read the do the proper computation as one thing another one is how to read the data out and the advantage of DNA computing is like it can do a uh, massively parallel computing and uh, the cost is low because it's just a cost of some proteins and fast computing speed due to the randomness you uh, just shake uh, DNA or somehow will produce some results so one second of DNA computing can be equivalent to one year simulation time the disadvantage is like it's hard to guarantee results so far and not practical yet because of the reader, because of the input, because of many uh, limitations on real DNA computing, but there have been some early success in proving uh, its capability to do fast computing. And reader, we have the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory uh, to do uh, DNA reading. And currently, our IC uh, technology is down to uh, like uh, 16 nanometer and some advanced one is trying 10 nanometer processing but uh, DNA actually is way smaller it's about 2 nanometer or smaller uh, in diameter and once you are done into this uh, 2 nanometer 1 nanometer range it's very difficult to read out so there is certain optical antenna and as you see right here this is a, a amino structure uh, this uh, has a gono, uh, amino structure and uh, you need to be able to read out of the mo molecule uh, it's not easy and uh, we, we have some background so far on the DNA uh, uh, nature uh, of the encoding now we are focused we will go to focus on the DNA representation in computer simulation let's focus on this because this is more uh, related to our uh, demo program and the study so as I mentioned uh, the uh, molecule in the chrom chromosome has uh, four possibility you have A, T, C, G four possibilities and A need to be paired with T, T need to be paired with A and G need to be paired with C and C need to be paired with G uh, so because of this nature we uh, can be uh, representing uh, DNA in a computer simulation like Java using the four letter strings. So A, T, A, G, C, T, each character uh, is representing one molecule. And at, at the beginning, we put some uh, five and three uh, to be the direction uh, indicator. So this meant the strength of the DNA. So we have uh, one upper strand and lowest one lower strand and each of them are coupled well coupled A to T, T to A uh, this we we talk about this before this is the interwine uh, uh, the uh, DNA uh, string uh, with uh, one upper strand and lower strand and we use a character to represent it and then we need to do a uh, reverse complementary uh, that's A to T, T to A, C to G, G to C. So basically, we, if we have one pair originally like this, and we want to do reverse uh, complement, 
So we reverse it, reverse this, got this, and do complement. We'll, we'll get the uh, re reverse complement of the uh, of the string. So reverse is like this G being reversed to here, T reverse to here, A reverse to here, G reverse to here, G, C, G, just like this. And once you got this reverse, we do a complementary G to C, T to A, A to T, G to C, something like that. This, this one is the result for reverse complementary of this uh, original uh, DNA string, upper string. And then another one is the tendon uh, repeat. Tendon repeat is like uh, this one. If we study it, it can be break down into two pair of the uh, two two a uh, two pattern of this uh, pattern repeated. Or if you cut it into a fur half further, it will be four of these uh, in a series. And also, you can you may be able to uh, uh, study it. Maybe there's a certain pattern it repeat repeat itself, but in between, uh, there are some ATG, ATG, TG, TAG, uh, non-repeating sequences in between the two uh, tendon repeat pair. So two type of uh, tendon repeat. One is uh, uh, right uh, replica. The other one is have non-repeating sequence in between, and there are certain article for those uh, biosciences and uh, another topic is the textual parindromes parindromes means that you actually if you look at it reversely it's a symmetrical in the in the middle this we call it the parindrome uh, symmetry and as you can see we create a parindrome symmetry here we, we have some program to do the string operation for this parindrome uh, symmetry checking and recreation and another one is the reverse complementary the uh, uh The difference between uh, this uh, reverse one and the regular one. Regular one, you just copy it and reverse it and append it. That's it. And this uh, reverse uh, complementary parindrome is like you reverse it and then you have to do a complement of the uh, reverse one and you get uh, uh, this uh, one. And then you, you combine together, this become a, a reverse complementary parindrum. And symmetry in the uh, DNA. Uh, this is study of DNA actually uh, is to find out a certain uh, pattern. They might be a symmetry structure. So here is the uh, symmetry line. T to T, T to T, C to G, C, G to T. A to A, A to A. So this create a certain uh, symmetry uh, line over here. This is just some kind of study. So when you look at the uh, DNA, you can recognize the pattern and use that pattern. We can study the behavior of the pattern. And another one is symmetry in DNA sequences. Reverse uh, complement motif play an important role in bio mechanism. But this is uh, certainly uh, often uh, uh, often uh, happening in the RNA, but RNA is not our topic. So RNA will have a U to replace the T, but it's not a topic uh, that we would like to go further away. So this concludes our uh, background information part, and then you should continue to look at the uh, part two on the programs. Thank you.